So there's a British show called The Detectorists, and you, you maybe you've seen it, maybe you haven't. If you haven't, check it out. It's a pretty good show. Um, it's a drama, it's a comedy, it's, it's a little of everything. It's British. Um, but uh, there's one scene in the movie, or in the show, that uh, I got a kick out of. And one of the guys is detecting in this field and people keep coming up to him and interrupting him you can see he's just annoyed he has to turn his headphones off put all his equipment down and talk to these people and they're just you know oh looking for gold oh have you found it oh keep you good luck and, and every time somebody comes up they're just interrupting him and i get it but I love it when people come up and talk to me. Um, I show them what I find. I talk to them about detecting. I show them how it works. Show them the equipment. Um, and I get to meet them. I mean, if you're detecting in your town, these are your neighbors. These are people you should get to meet anyway. Sometimes it leads to permissions, like this beautiful house from 1895. So you got to talk to people. Get out there. Get permissions. On the first old find of the day, <clears throat> it's an old green wheat penny. Cool. On to the next. Outstanding. I believe it's the first silver of the day. And it is. Let's see what it is. It's a Washington. But you know what? It's silver. And I will take it. Awesome. On to the next. Well, let's see what we have. Not far from where that silver quarter was. Well, not far from where that silver quarter was, and it's just a wheat penny. All right, on to the next. Well, I thought I had my first. Thought I had my first Indian. It's just a wheat penny. Rang really low, but uh, hey, I'll scan see if there's anything else. And the second silver of the day, and it's a Merc. It's a pretty worn out Merc, but uh, it's a Merc nonetheless. So I'll clean it up. You'll see it right here. Excellent. So that was ringing up in eighty-eight, eighty-nine. Uh, just for reference on this simplex, but again, it, the signal is always going to be different, so Here I'll scan it outside Let me turn this off So out of the hole it's an 84 in the hole is an 88 89 it all depends on how it's laying and what it's in the hole and the mineralization in the soil and the, uh, the spirits in the ground or whatever. <laughs> Who knows? On to the next. Well, luckily, all the wheat pennies, or all the pennies I'm finding are wheat pennies, so that's a good thing. Um, let's see if we can find any more old stuff. All right, here we go. All right, high E. We'll see what it is. It could be just a penny. Bringing an 82 now. And it's silver. There it is. 
cool. Let's see what we have. It's a rosy. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, I'll clean that up. You'll see it right here. Excellent. Third silver of the day. Not too shabby. Now well, this one was ringing in the high 70s. Uh, looks like it's a token. But uh, I'll clean it up and see what it is. Might just be a cap or something like that. Alright, on to the next. And a nice green wheat penny. A lot of people are surprised when they see green wheat pennies. They think green is like an Indian color. <laughs> but Indians and wheat pennies are made out of the same thing. 95% copper. 5% tin and zinc. The tin and the zinc ratio changed between the wheat pennies and the Indians. Uh, and that's why they bring slightly different. That's the only reason they ring slightly different. Uh, but they're still 95% copper. So the green is just the patina that it gets under certain conditions. Sometimes Indian head pennies uh, come out of the ground green, sometimes they come out brown. They come out different colors. Depends on the soil condition. Alright, on to the next. Well, I'm not quite sure what it is, but it's definitely something. So I'll clean it up and we'll see it. We'll see it right here. So this whole area back here was the trash pit and um, it was mostly gravel back in the day, 120 years ago. So it's tough digging, there's lots of signals. I'm gonna come back and do this another day when I'm fresh. And I'm gonna head over here in the garden and in the lawn where the digging is easier. Now the woman who lives here said while they were gardening they found lots of bullets and here's a shell casing. <laughs> it's not uncommon. All right, this used to be countryside way back when. Well, it's number 165. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I'll clean it up and see if I can figure it out. But uh, I thought I was digging another zinc penny. It rang in the high 60s, but uh, hey, this is better than a zinc penny. Cool. Well, this was ringing all over the place, the 60s up to the 90s. Uh, the Texas Petroleum Products Company. That's pretty cool. I'll clean it up. See if I can figure anything out about it. Oh, it's got a nice start. Oh, Texaco. Cool. All right. I'll clean it up. You'll see it right here. On to the next. It's still in the hole. Ringing a 93 now. We'll see what it is. Sometimes the loose dirt confuses the signal. Oh, where did it go? I do believe it's here. And it's a hunk of junk. <laughs> oh well, on to the next. There's a tough one down here by this root. And I scratched it. Oh, and boy am I unhappy that I scratched it. Because it is a barber. Cool. All right. Well, it was a tough one. It was a tough one. It was uh, back up under a root and it was hard to get to. Uh, I'll clean up and see how bad I scratched it. Stay tuned.
Well, never expected to find something like this. It's a really old flat button. Uh, uh, this right nearby was the original farmhouse to this whole area. So who knows? I'll clean it up, see if there's anything on it, but that's pretty old. All right, very cool. On to the next. And sometimes here in the trash, you find some treasure. I don't know what it is, but it's cleaning up like silver. So I'll clean it up and see what it is. See if there's any markings on it. That's pretty cool. All right, on to the next. Well, for a house that was built in 1895, I was kind of surprised that I hadn't found an Indian until I got home. And I started cleaning up my wheat pennies and one slipped through so in the field I try to just quickly field identify them I never clean my coins in the field I take my time and try to do it right so it's a 1902 Indian hit penny cool well that's gonna do it for today what an awesome day any day with that many relics and silver it's just it's just great and the weather is great it was uh 30 when i came out uh, it's minus zero for you people outside the united states um but uh it warmed up enough it's probably about 40 now um just warm enough beautiful sunny day great to get outside so well, I'll see you on the next adventure. Uh, actually, it might actually be here because the woman said I could come back anytime. There's a uh, trash pit in the back. A lot of signals back there. Uh, I'm going to do that when I'm rested. Uh, plus, there used to be a gravel driveway back to the carriage house. There's a ton of signals in there too, but I had to fight the gravel to get them. So, I'll do that when I'm rested too. So, stay tuned. See you on the next one. I hope you enjoy these little adventures of mine. Uh, if you do, uh, just hit that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment. So if you like it, hit subscribe. So I'll see you on the next one.